And welcome back to another tutorial in the series of B Basics. I am Dave from the Kodo, and today we'll be looking at the alveary heater and alveary fan blocks that are part of the alveary structure. Uh, both of these are going to be used for either heating or cooling your alveary so that you can breed bees or have bees going inside of an alveary that is not in a biome that is suitable for those bees. And let's just look real quick at the alveary heater. This is a recipe. Uh, you can use any alveary block to convert into an alveary, alveary heater, as well as some stone, golden electron tubes, which are created thusly. And the alveary fan, which is used for cooling, is the same situation, but only one golden electron tube and an alveary block, standard alveary block. Over here, you can see we have our alveary setup. This is a standard one right now. And if you click on it, you can see the temperature. Temperature is normal, 80%. Humidity is 40%. Now, the way the... We'll look at the alveary heater first. Uh, it takes one... It takes. It does need a power. That's why I have a little power setup going here. Uh, but it needs build-craft compatible power source. So it, you can use uh, energy conduits, uh, which I like to use because it's a little bit easier. Or you can use the build-craft uh, energy pipes to provide power to them. Uh, as you can see, when they are just sitting, they are uh, black, means there's no power going to them. But upon applying electricity, it turns on. So we'll give each of these some power. It uses one MJ per tick to activate and one MJ per tick to just leave on. Uh, when the alveary heater is activated, it will raise the temperature by 20% for each heater applied. So if you only have one, uh, it'll go up by 20%. If you have three, like I have here, it'll go up by 60%. Uh, this does not change if you supply more power, and they will drain power if you are giving it, like I'm obviously giving it a ton of power right now. Uh, these are, what are these, 2MJ per tick. So 8MJ per tick are dumping into these, which are only using 3, but they're going to use up all that power that's given to them. It will not adjust the amount of temperature that goes up. It's 20% for 1MJ per tick, no matter how much you dump into it. So keep that in mind. Uh, if you have these attached to a, um, a main power source. I'm waiting for the rain to stop there. So... Now if I look at the alveary, you can see that the temperature has changed. The warm temperature is at 140%. Humidity is still normal, 40%. But 140%, which means it's a little bit easier to... You can you can jack these up. Let's see what we can get up to. Uh, so if you wanted to raise uh, desert bees or, or nether bees, you would have the ability to... Bring the temperature up. See, now you're at a hot temperature, 200%. Um, you can bring these up to the level at which you would need for those bees. And let's see here. Let's see how high we can get it. And like all, all structures here, you do... Oh, I don't have another flower. You can only put them on these bottom two rows. So now we're at, and the temperature is fluctuating now. So you can see that it's going up, but it comes back down because of the fact that the power is being pumped in. Uh, now I'm using, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 MJ per tick, but only providing 8. That's why the power is fluctuating up and down. We can set this up to be a little bit more let's make sure we have enough so you want to be conscious of how much you are putting in there and how much it's going to use so these guys will start going up put up two so we have two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen which should be enough to handle all of these and keep it at a temperature that is sufficient it goes down a little bit because it's still pumping but as you can see the temperature is up so this allows you to um, 
to be able to put bees that you normally wouldn't be able to use in this biome in an alveary and make sure that they have the temperature that is required. Now, you also have to keep in mind what biome you're currently in while you're trying to raise the temperature. So if you're in a cooler um, biome, like if you're in a snow biome, and you're trying to raise the temperature, it's only going to be 20% per heater. So you're going to have to jump up a lot more. You're going to have to use a lot more heaters to get to the point at which you can use uh, the alveary for the bees that you're trying to use. Now, if we look at the alveary fan, which is used to cool... Uh, the alveary so we could use uh, so we could work with some maybe some some snow bees uh, you can see the temperature is 80 percent humidity is 40 percent break these out put a couple of fans in bring in some redstone power you'll see that they should change yep see now it's blue because it's cooling it's a fan and you can see that the temperature went down now we're at a cold cold temperature cold uh, climate so <clears throat> yep, there we go. Dropping even more. Cold 5%. So, depending on the level at which you want to have the alveary, you're going to need to add either more fans or more heaters uh, to adjust for the climate that you're in to bring the temperature down so that the bees you are trying to uh, use can be used in the alveary in the biome that you're in. Instead of having to run around to different biomes, you can have them all in one and just adjust the temperature based on what you need. Uh, like all pieces of the alveary, you can only put anything in this bottom row or the second row. Uh, obviously, this middle block right here cannot be used because you can't reach it. Uh, but the middle row right here, you can put something there if you, as long as you, uh, are, you can get underneath the alveary to get to it. So that was just a quick look at how to raise and lower the temperature of the alveary to use for specific bees in different biomes. Uh, hopefully this was helpful to you. If it was, give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you want to know anything else about this, uh, these setups. Or if you're having any trouble, let me know. Uh, stay tuned to the channel for some more tutorials and bee basics of the alveary setup. I thank you for tuning in. I'm Dave from the Kodo. Like always, good luck have fun.